Hi, my name's Steve, and for the moment I'm being an online guitar teacher. Um, obviously, it's all stuck in our houses. Um, every couple of days, I'm just pinging up a very simple video for anyone who's an absolute beginner and has got a guitar kicking around the house. Um, it doesn't matter what type of guitar it is. It could be electric guitar, acoustic guitar, Spanish guitar. It could have nylon strings on it, steel strings on it. It really doesn't matter. It's just for anyone that wants to try and learn a quick tune on the guitar. Um, and then hopefully we'll get a couple of people that maybe take it on further than that once we all get out of our houses again. Um, we're just gonna keep it super simple. Um, the other day I put one up um, on YouTube, which was another one bites the dust. Um, this is Schools Out by Alice Cooper. Um, I thought it'd be topical. Um, so we're just gonna keep it nice and simple. I'm not gonna go through all the names of strings or the terminology, anything like that. Um, for today, we're just gonna use one string, just the thinnest string. So a string that is nearest to the floor, which sounds like this. And I'll play it again. So if you're trying to tune that string to make it sound like mine or like the original, um, you can follow the string up the neck of the guitar to the top of the guitar, there will be a tuning peg at the top. Yeah. If you turn it this way towards you, it will loosen the string. If you turn it the other way, it tightens the string. Yeah. So if yours sounds looser than mine, you can tighten it up until you get that pitch. If yours sounds higher than mine, like that, you can pull it back down until you get that note. Yeah, the sound you're aiming for, like that. However, because it's only on one string, if you're not playing it with the original, if you're not playing it with the track or on YouTube or something like that, it can be out of tune, it doesn't really make too much difference. There you go. Um, so like I say, all on our thinnest string. To start with, all I want you to do is play two open strings on that thinnest one, and then you're gonna play the fifth fret. The neck is divided up into all of these boxes. Um, each box is called a fret. Fret number one is the first box, fret number two, fret number three, and then four, and then five. When you're playing the frets, if you put your finger on that fret right in the middle of the box and press down as hard as you possibly can, and then if you play that same string, don't move your finger, you'll get that five. Like I say, the harder you press down, the better note you're gonna get. If you put your finger on that wire, it makes that sound, which is pretty unusable. You're not gonna be able to play guitar like that. Um, so if you play two open strings, and then that five, and I'll do that one more time. And then the next section, exactly the same idea, two open ones, but this time I'm gonna to change to the third fret, so the first dot on your guitar. Assuming your guitar's got dots, some don't, yeah? So if we join that up, you're gonna go two open ones, five, two open ones, and a three. I'll do that one more time. After that, your next section, you're gonna go back to where you started, two open ones and a five, but this time we're gonna go straight to the three afterwards. So go open, open, five, three. And I'll do it one more time. And then we're gonna finish on your open one again. So your third section, open, open, five, three, open one. So if we join the whole thing up, you're gonna go open, open, five, open and three, two open ones, five, straight to three, open. And then again, so open twice, five, open twice, three, two open ones, five, three, open. Yeah, if you get that very quickly, um, you can start to add different fingers. Um, you're not gonna see any good guitar player playing guitar with one finger. So if you can do, use multiple fingers. Best way to do it is use your third finger for the fifth fret, first finger for the third fret. They're the ideal fingers to use. You can use different fingers. If it's more comfortable for you. Um, but if you're an absolute beginner and you're only just getting to grips with this, to do it with one finger is absolutely fine. There we go. Um, like I say, if you like that one and you haven't seen the first one, um, another one bites the dust, there's a link on YouTube um, to that as well. Um, obviously have fun, stay safe, and if anyone gets it and wants to comment with a video on there, that'd be brilliant. Thanks very much.